breaking news off the top at six. An FDA panel gives its stamp of approval to Moderna, bringing it an important step closer to emergency use. All this as some South Florida seniors are already getting a shot of hope vaccinated with the Pfizer vaccine. Good evening, everyone. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. The FDA is expected to act quickly on the panel recommendation. When that happens, Moderna will be the second vaccine available. Doses for now are being earmarked for healthcare workers and nursing home residents. CBS 4's Joe Murray has more on the vaccination program in South Florida and on what's next. Walgreens and CVS pharmacies are getting ready to start vaccinations at elder care facilities all over South Florida beginning next week. Another vital shot in the arm for those most at risk of dying from the COVID virus. Every morning when I get up, I say, be not afraid. I sing, I sing that song to myself. A positive outlook and meditation have helped 87-year-old Kay Allen see her way through the COVID crisis. Yeah. She's a retired teacher and media specialist who lives at Belmont Village in Fort Lauderdale, which offers independent assisted living and memory care. I think this is better news than what I expected. Allen, a widow and mother of seven, grandmother to 10, is happily surprised she will be getting her first dose of the COVID vaccine soon. Right now, I sit at a table for four by myself. And of course, my family will be able to come in and see me. Belmont Executive Director Renee Buck is working with Walgreens to get nearly 100 residents and staff vaccinated. Most of our residents are, are so excited to, to move forward with this and get this over with. Belmont has only had two COVID cases with staff. Buck credits strict guidelines with keeping the virus under control. The vaccine involves a lot of preparation, he says. Everyone has to be screened and residents will have to sign a consent form. It will allow um, eventually when the second vaccination uh, took place to open up uh, life as usual a little bit. On Wednesday, the governor said after elder care facilities, Floridians 65 and older will be next in line for the vaccine. Between Broward and Miami-Dade, that's about one million residents. The vaccinations will likely happen at doctors offices, pharmacies, and major COVID testing sites. If your doctor has screened you and you don't meet any of the criteria that would exclude you from getting this vaccine, you should ask when you can get it. And Broward Health Chief Medical Officer Dr. Joshua Lynch says getting everyone 65 and older vaccinated will have a huge impact in 2021. If we can vaccinate those people, then I think that by the spring and moving into the summer, I think that we can start to see some return of normalcy by the time the summer starts rolling around. If the Moderna vaccine is green lighted, it means beginning next week in Florida, hundreds of thousands of vaccine vials will be arriving and they will be going to hospitals, to assisted care living facilities, and finally to everyone 65 and older. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.